Hi, Rosemary. Are you going to have a baby today? She's going to have a baby today for sure. The time has come. Hello, baby. You hiding back here behind the big pines? You've been digging and pawing and isolating. You didn't have babies? I thought you were due now. I said it was about a month from the others. And they are positive signs that she is in labor. I've been looking out the window at her just about every 10 20 minutes all day and just now i saw that she had a lot of mucus hanging down and it has fallen down onto the ground and she's licking at it she may have already started pushing but i don't know i didn't see any pushes yet so i'm just gonna stay now it is that level of activity that I consider more active labor. Whereas all morning it's been pre-labor. Now I would count this as active. She's a good girl. She kids real, real well, so I'm just gonna watch. I like watching. Yes, baby, I'll stay with you. I walked away from her and she came down here and started rubbing on me. So she doesn't want me to leave her space. I have to stay in her space. So we're in the shelter now. This is... Yeah. You're good. You're good at this. I'm not worried. You always do a good job. I don't need to be here. You just want me to. Oh no. Girl, you are ridiculous. What kind of goat pigs out in labor? You, you, daddy just brought fresh hay and she says, oh good, num, 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 energy. Crazy girl, you crazy girl. Well, she is eating and eating and eating the hay with the other goats, but not pushing it. But she's got plenty of lubrication for when that time comes. She's definitely ready to give birth. And she does not want me to leave her. She's so uncomfortable. I did put a little bit of organic bug spray around her ears and udder just to kind of keep the bugs from bothering her so much we shall see that's a contraction I think she stopped chewing her cud she got real stiff you're gonna plop a baby out on one of these babies yeah daddy got your birthing stall already I think you'd rather walk around some more though you're like me you don't want to sit still in labor <laughs> my goodness it looks like a baby could just fall right out of there when she sits down. <laughs> Girl, you're so big. How many of y'all think she's going to have? Leave it down in the comments before you get to the end of the video and find out. Leave a guess and then come back and make another comment if your guess was right. <laughs> I was sitting down there looking in at her and I got up to come sit in this chair that the babies were sitting in and she started crying and hollering for me. I'm like, I'm right here. But Goomba's keeping me company over here. Goomba's my baby. He's my friendliest baby. He liked the bottle the most when I was supplementing a few bottles for hearts when she was recovering. He likes me now. She's, I feel like she's getting super close. She's just wide open back there. And so ready. So ready. You ready to push those babies out? With as long as she's had the goo present, I'm a little worried that her babies aren't positioned perfectly yet. And that's why she hasn't started pushing. 
That or her cervix hasn't finished dilating, but she's acting fine. Nothing to worry about. Just something to think about. Usually once there's goo like that, there's babies very quickly. Or pushing at least. And she is not pushed at all. So I will keep calcium in the back of my mind just in case it seems like she needs a little boost. But I despise giving calcium because it is not a nice thing to give. They don't like it. It burns going down even when you mix it with molasses. Which I always do, obviously, but it's just not pleasant. So I'm going to hold off and just let her take her time. Nice slow beginning of labor for her this time. <laughs> All right. I just saw the slightest little grunt. Like she may be starting to push. I thought I was going to catch it on camera, but she stopped as soon as I pressed record. It was just the slightest little grunt and push, but just the beginning signs. Not quite a full bush at all, so. We are getting closer. I know, Mama. You ready to meet those babies? How many are you going to have? A bunch of beautiful girls, huh? Yeah, we're going to have a bunch of beautiful girls. You got this. Oh. Getting ready to push. Still waiting for a real push. She seems closer every hour. Yes, I know. Don't look at me like that. I know. You're getting impatient. I'm getting impatient. Let's just get these babies and have them be done and over with. Rosemary probably thinks this is funny. She is a goat that has always kept us waiting. We once waited an entire five months to find out that she was not pregnant, just really fat. And she always seems to be the last one to birth. And now she's had me out here all day, all day, watching her and talking to her because she doesn't like it when I leave. But the contractions do seem to be getting a little more strong, so. Like I said, hopefully soon. Just call me the goat doula. I love helping goats in labor. I love to watch it. I love to experience it. I love to help them if they need it. But it's just such a fun experience. And I enjoy every minute of it. <laughs> there we go. First real push. A nice gentle one just to get things started. <laughs> that a girl. You can do it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Baby goats are cheering you on, huh? You got this, baby. Don't worry, goats. Don't worry, baby goats. It's just more babies coming, that's all. 
They'll be here soon to play with you. <laughs> okay. Water broke. I'm seeing another bubble present that has what looks like meconium in them, in it. Maybe not, maybe not. Cause for just a little bit of concern, but not really. As long as the pushing gets things moving, everything should be fine. All right, baby. Yeah, let's get this moving. Hmm? Let's see this party started, honey. I thought you were getting ready to push again. Yeah? Hmm? Yeah? You ready? Well, she did it. I had to help. We had two very twisted up and tangled babies. We had a head and two feet in the birth canal like I was expecting and I thought everything was was uh, presenting correctly but then I realized that the two feet and the head were to different babies. Yeah, so I had to maneuver the feet back in and pull the head forward. So I birthed head first. <laughs> to the first one and then breach or head back. I don't even know the, 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 the rush of it all was just, the second one came out pretty quick and easy though. So <laughs> they were both ready to come. Two little bucklings. Not sure she's got any more in her. I'm gonna let her clean these babies up and <laughs> let her mama instincts <laughs> take over. And if she starts pushing again, I will know if she's got another. And if not, I'll wait till she stands up and I'll bump test her and see if I feel another. We had a good night of rest. Mama recuperated very quickly and babies too. They've been eating all night and they're looking really good and strong. So we're super happy. And she's a very devoted mama. Very devoted. She loves her babies. Something we absolutely love here on our farm is Khaleesi's attention to the babies. She always sniffs them when they first arrive and greets them, makes sure she knows their scent, and then she stays bonded to them. You love the babies, don't you? Good girl. <laughs> 